The interesting thing about the constitution of Medina uh, is that it recognized that all these people, pagan Arabs, as well as the Muslims, the Ansar and the Muhajireen, and the Christians in that city, were part of the same ummah, of the same nation. Uh, nowadays, of course, Muslims often use the term ummah to mean the Muslim community. But that is not how it was used in that very first constitution of an Islamic state. So when people today say to me, we would like to create an Islamic state here or there, I say to them, will it be like the first one in Medina or not? And if not, why not?